anti-inflammatory drugs increase the risk of a second heart attack. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, an important study published in Circulation on September 10th, 2012, reaffirms what we know, that certain anti-inflammatory drugs called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs promote a second heart attack. So someone that's already had a heart attack before, if they're taking drugs like Voltaren or Diclofenac, Vioxx, Celebrex, Naproxen, Ibuprofen, that it increases the chance they're going to have a second heart attack if they're on those drugs. How do those drugs increase risk? Well, we think that it's making the blood excessively sticky. So where people have a high risk for heart disease, if some of the plaque in the artery wall breaks off, then those platelets come and they clump together and they form a plug there and you have a heart attack. So those drugs make the blood or the platelets stickier and they form that plug in a more abnormal, abnormal way. Doctors once thought, well, you know, once the person is two or three or four years past having a heart attack, let's say they have some arthritis, maybe we could give them some Voltaren or Celebrex or Naproxen, Ibuprofen at that time. You know, I mean, the, the heart attack was three or four or five years ago. But what we're seeing is that even five years later, if a person starts on one of those drugs, that it still increases the risk they're going to have a second heart attack. So there really is no safe time after a, the first heart attack when someone could start safely taking a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug like this. The one exception is low-dose aspirin. So low-dose aspirin has the opposite effect. It tends to decrease the clotting of platelets so they don't clump together. So a low-dose aspirin is often recommended in a, high, a person who's at high risk for a heart attack or to prevent, help prevent a second heart attack. But even with aspirin, there's still a risk there's gonna be some irritation to the gut or some internal bleeding from erosion of the gastrointestinal tract, as occurs with the other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. They all tend to have this side effect. But doctors tend to prescribe these drugs like Voltaren, Ibuprofen, and Celebrex, and aspirin, and so on, for people that have arthritis and joint pain. The truth is, there are safer alternatives that are sort of anti-inflammatory herbs. These are natural agents like curcumin and boswellia and a few others that have been tested in head-to-head -head trials against these drugs. They reduce inflammation extremely well and they don't have the side effect of increasing risk of heart attack or damaging the intestinal tract or damaging the liver or the kidneys. So what I'd like you to do is click on the link below you can read my review article on the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs in their relationship to second heart attack, and you'll see the scientific reference there as well. But you'll also see below that a link that'll take you to a free download where you can get my free ebook on how to manage arthritis and inflammation naturally. So you don't have to rely on these drugs nearly as much if you have arthritis or inflammatory problems, or you can certainly reduce your reliance on them. So the, the fewer of these drugs you have to take in your lifetime, the better off you're going to be because they're linked strongly to liver damage and liver failure and kidney damage and kidney failure, as well as increasing risk of second heart attack, if we're talking about those drugs that we mentioned earlier, and also bleeding in the intestinal tract area. So if you have osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis or an inflammatory joint problem that's nagging you, you should really download my free ebook on how to manage that in a more natural way so you don't have to depend on those drugs nearly as much. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll see my uh, research review papers, you'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads, resources, and videos I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll see you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.